She will work her magic solo. She's an independent woman. She doesn't need a company, okay? Just SPF, just SPF. Hello guys, welcome in another video. Today we will talk about vitamin C. We will talk about what are the best vitamin C products currently on the market, what is vitamin C, what are the main purposes of vitamin C in your skincare routine, how to use vitamin C, how to layer vitamin C, and many more. But before we move on to the video, I would like to kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell and also like this video so that more people can see this video and also the other videos on my channel and my channel can grow. Anyway, without further ado, let's move on to the video. So I don't think I need to explain you what is vitamin C because you probably all know vitamin C and you've probably been taking vitamin C supplements somewhere throughout your life. So vitamin C is also known as L-ascorbic acid and it has so many purposes in your skincare routine. It's genuinely one of the most important skincare ingredients. And I use vitamin C for almost a year and I can see a massive change into how my skin is looking like. Vitamin C is a strong antioxidant and it also is a water-soluble vitamin that push our skin to produce more collagen. And you know, collagen equals youthfulness, beautiful skin, no wrinkles, and so on and so on. So collagen is really, really important. And obviously when we aging, we have less and less collagen in our skin. So it's really important to eat and also to put on our skin products that push our skin and our body to produce more of that collagen. And actually, I know that for most of us, when we think about vitamin C, we think of an orange, but it's not true actually, because yes, orange contains a lot of vitamin C, but there are peppers, strawberries, kiwis, and papayas, and they actually contain much more vitamin C than the orange, which is a bit confusing, I know, but that's, that's how it is, basically. There are so many reasons why you should use vitamin C in your skincare routine, but the main one is that vitamin C is brightening and lightening the discoloration. If you have any sort of discoloration, any sunspot, acne marks, scars, you should use vitamin C and then you will see that your skin will just look more and more even and the marks and the spots will just slowly disappear. It also helps with building collagen and elastin in our skin. As I mentioned before, collagen and elastin equals youthfulness. We need to remember that. And so we should use vitamin C always. Yeah? A, B, C. Vitamin A, which is retinol, vitamin B, which is niacinamide, and vitamin C. Those are the three main vitamins that you need in your skincare, regardless of your skin type and your skin problem. This is just basic. Okay, vitamin C also fights free radicals, which is basically everything that is outside that you want to protect your pure skin against, such as pollution, unfresh air, smoking, everything that is just bad and it can damage your skin and it can cause a pre-aging. This is what vitamin C is protecting you against. So it's a sort of a barrier between the outside world and your skin. Vitamin C combined with the SPF helps protecting the skin against the sun. So basically, if you combine SPF with vitamin C, you are making this amazing mixture, this like amazing barrier that nothing is gonna get through, especially the sun. And as you know, sun is super damaging and it damages our face and it makes our face look older than it actually is. And so you can make this barrier stronger with combining SPF with your vitamin C. And that is why I highly recommend using vitamin C in the morning because this is when you should use your SPF as well. And so combining them together is just the best combo and it sort of leads to the next thing which is how and when to use vitamin c so you can use vitamin c either in the morning or in the evening it's generally up to you but of course as i mentioned before the spf works so much better when it's combined with a vitamin c and so i would recommend to use it in the morning because why not? And also in the morning, you're not really using anything else such as retinols or any sort of other acids because those are the sort of products that you shouldn't use in the morning because they are really sensitive to the sun and vitamin C is not that sensitive. Of course, regardless of anything, you need to use SPF on top of the vitamin C because if you don't, you can end up with a sunburn and your skin can end up very irritated or red, so you don't want to end up like that. That is why you need to use SPF regardless of 
anything even if you're staying at home because the sun can actually go through the window and you still can end up with a damaged skin or you can just age faster and we don't need it so it's really important to just remember that the last step in your morning skincare routine is always 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 an SPF as you know there are so many acids that we use in our skincare such as AHA, BHA, retinol, niacinamide so many other things and vitamin C is not really working well when it's combined with those products and that is why it's important to separate the vitamin C with any other acids or retinols or niacinamides you're using and so again that is why it's so much easier to just use it in the morning and then leave the whole salicylic acids retinol and all the other treatments for the evenings so again important don't combine vitamin C with niacinamide don't combine them with any AHA or BHA such as glycolic acids salicylic acids retinol and so on and so on okay just leave this vitamin c alone she will work her magic solo she's an independent woman she doesn't need a company okay just spf just spf there are so many different products with vitamin c on the market currently because vitamin c is just becoming more and more popular and it's really up to you what you want to use because it really depends on your preferences and your budget. We have vitamin C in the form of oil, we have vitamin C in the form of serums and also in the forms of powders, boosters, creams. There's just a lot. I personally really like to use vitamin C in the form of oil because that is the formulation that um, it's not going to oxidize very fast comparing to, for example, the serums when, when you open the package, it's... When you open the package, you just have a limited time of usage because after a certain time, the vitamin C will oxidize and will just lose its powers and you won't be able to use it anymore. And that is why I personally prefer to use it in the form of an oil and squalens. And I really like the vitamin C from the Bio Essence and also I currently love the vitamin C oil from the Banish. And I worked with the Banish brand a few videos before and that is why I started to use um, the vitamin C and I love it and I use it almost every single day. I also like to use vitamin C in the form of creams because it's just easy to use and you are not that oily. And also something that I love are the boosters because you can just boost a little bit of the vitamin C in your SPF and in here for example we have that booster from Paula's Choice which is amazing but it's a little bit more pricey so the Banish one or the one from The Ordinary or the Bio Essence are a bit more affordable and also we have the vitamin C in a form of a powder and I've never tried that before but for me it looks so messy and the powder is actually the L ascorbic acid itself so which is way more powerful and strong than for example the vitamin C in the oil form or a serum form and that is why you need to remember that your skin can get irritated you need to be really careful with that and also it creates just so much mess so um i've never tried it but even thinking of it just makes me ugh. so i i don't think it's for me to be fair but anyway there's so many different vitamin c's on the market and so many different percentages and combinations so you really need to choose something that it's best for your preferences and your budget and yeah I think that's it from like the main information about the vitamin C um, I particularly will recommend to use vitamin C at least three to four times a week um, and you need to use it for a while to see the results it's not like instant but anything in skincare is not instant you know like you really need to put time and effort into seeing an actual results but you will see them believe me you will see them anyway that's it for today's video let me know if you have any other question I'll be happy to answer to all of them um, if you have any ideas or what sort of videos would you like to see on my channel also let me know in the comment section down below you can also check out my TikTok my Instagram subscribe to my channel like the video check out my Polish channel and so on and so on and I will see you guys in the next video